Hello, my friends. We are in California. <laughs> I'm here with the land development queen, Karina Guzman. I'm so Hi, excited. <laughs> Me too. Like, uh, I, I really wanted to share your story with our friends here um, because I think it's an inspiring story and uh, I respect you so much. You're an inspirational person. You're a powerhouse rock star of, a, <laughs> of an investor. And uh, why, not, why not do it in the, in the sun here? Like we're doing an event. We have an event here in uh, Irvine, California. You flew down here uh, and you, you were an absolute rock, rock star. Thank you, Alfonso. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, we, we've been uh, trying to connect for a while. Um, I remember looking, I, you know what caught me? It's like, she's a Libra, because I saw your birthday. And I'm like, <laughs> how come we don't know each other more? Remember that? Yes. <laughs> and then we connected and we, 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 we're working together now, so I'm excited. So I, I think it's only fair that my audience gets to know you a little bit more. And uh, I want to have an opportunity to share your story. We're, we have a very similar background. We come from the same country. Same country. Yeah, Salvador. In, in, Salvador. Uh, mm -hmm. in fact, we had pupusas last night. Yes. <laughs> if that you guys know, crazy. if you guys don't know what pupusas are, you guys, uh, you better Google it. Pupusas in Salvador and go, hit the closest restaurant. <laughs> uh, but those of you that know know exactly what that what what that means. But please, sh I want to know how this all craziness real estate world started for you. It started for me. Started two thousand nine, so I've been in it for a little so, bit of time. So coming coming uh, into a the Canadian correction, not not real estate crash, but it yes. was a bit of a correction. People were kind of scared of real estate, big time. Yeah. But you know, at the time, I was just finishing. I just got out of university, mm -hmm. and I was just starting my first corporate job. And I thought, woohoo, I mm -hmm. made it. You made it. Because that's the dream for that's a lot of my, immigrants, right? My like, parents wanted me to do that, you know? Go to school, get, get a your job. degree, yep. go get the job, the government, J-O-B. And it has the pension and the benefits and you're set for life. That's it. That's all you can ever hope for. That's it. That's it. Buy your house. Yes. Hold on to that house for yep. the next 40 years. Yep. And everything and will be okay. And then you retire and happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how it's supposed to work. That's right. Yeah, that's how yeah. it's supposed to it's work. It's a nice dream. It is. It's a simple dream, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that didn't quite work out because I got into that corporate job and I'm like, I'm going to be a successful businesswoman and I'm going to work my way up to the ladder. I'm going to wear the nice suits mm -hmm. and I'm going to be happy. And then I did that, worked my way up, and then I realized I'm miserable. Mm. I hate being here. What? What? was like what because that's a dream for a lot of people and you didn't i guess you didn't feel fulfilled so what was it like what what was that moment where you feel like no 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 i'm not gonna i'm not gonna yeah. do this i think it was just a feeling that i want to be more mm -hmm. like you know inside that i've outgrown this space mm -hmm. and i need to become more and you know deep inside that you can be more mm -hmm. but you don't know how but you just know some something inside of you tells you I have not become the real me I'm not done yet yes it's like almost like I haven't become who I'm supposed to be this mm -hmm. feeling mm -hmm. like I'm living somebody else's life yeah you know and I was actually to be honest a, a lot of people like uh, maybe people watching this show could be in that place right now a lot of people so how do you how do you how do you identify it first of all that because it could be like you're tired it could be you know like yeah. health issues but how do you identify that that feeling it's it's like you got to get out you got to do something different let go of those handcuffs like how do you know man it's it's like that feeling that you wake up in the morning and you're like i just don't want to do this anymore mm -hmm. and that feeling that you know what if i continue this way for me, the big one was, do I really want, do I really see myself for another 25 years doing this? Mm -hmm. And the answer was no, clearly, clearly mm -hmm. no. And I couldn't imagine. I was like, I'm gonna die here if so I continue. So did you resonate? How did, how, did, uh, how did it work? Like you made a decision, like you just quit? Like, Well, you know what? The, the, big, uh, the big push for me was my son. 
It's very similar to your story. <laughs> so I really, I really I know. relate. We're like the same person. Uh, yeah. Like, like this is, it, it was crazy. Cause, it cause is. when we got together, we started like, Hey, what about, Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You know <laughs> so what I mean? Which is like, to me, it's like in incredible. You it know? is, it's so crazy. So your son. My first son, Marcos, and I had him. And you know, before that, and I, I knew like, there's something inside of me that is very unfulfilled. But when I had him, and seeing his little face, I was like, I want to become the absolute most best version of me for, for him. Mm -hmm. He was actually my push mm -hmm. to become that. And I was like, there's nothing from here on that's gonna stop me from doing that. And I became obsessed mm -hmm. with becoming the best version because for me, it was like, if I'm not my best version, how can I teach him yes. to become the best, best version of himself? Yeah because he's gonna see through your actions. Because a lot of parents, they like to tell their kids, but they're not, they're not walking the walk, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. You can't tell somebody, don't do this, but then they see you, mm -hmm. you know, living a typical same life as everybody else. Yeah. And I knew I didn't want that. So that was my big push. It mm -hmm. was my big push. And that's when I began going to every event. I was like that, that I was like that real estate. You like, were like a sponge. You yeah. just wanted, you wanted, but what, like, uh, so what intrigued you about real estate? How did you discover real estate? Well, funny, I actually bought right out of university. I got my very first job and uh, I said to my dad, I need to go buy my house, my first house, because now I have a real job. J-O-B. J-O-B. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'll go. And my dad was very supportive. And he's like, yeah, let's go, mija. Let's go buy a house. So he was like my biggest supporter. And then we went out and bought that house. And I loved the process. I loved negotiating. I loved walking mm -hmm. through the properties. I didn't know anything about real estate before mm -hmm. that. But I was buying, obviously, it was an emotional buy that I was doing. But when I got it, I was like, you know what? I have four bedrooms. I'm just gonna go and like rent every room. And everybody, even my dad was like, well, who's gonna rent a room? And I'm like, I don't know, but I did. And I did it like that. And mm -hmm. my, all of my rooms got rented. And I was like, hey, these people living here are paying my mortgage. Mm -hmm. I should, you know, put extra money, pull some money out and do it again. Like that was yeah. like, this is, this is a thing. Like I mm -hmm. could do this yeah. and I did that. I wow so you're so this is like now you're like okay i got the bug i got the bug yeah <laughs> and then you're like okay i'm gonna go to every real estate event and that's important because yeah. that's what a lot about this is like this channel here like we we just like pour the education right like we have 800 videos mm -hmm. on this channel right and so when people discover real estate first thing you got to do just get educated just do whatever you can, get you whatever, get into whatever program you can, yeah. just to get the education because that gives you the cheat sheet, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And just learning about the strategies because back then I didn't know anything, mm -hmm. like nothing. So just absorbing the information, seeing how it's done, different ideas. For me, that was like mind blowing at the time mm -hmm. because I was like, I never heard of any of this, yeah. nothing. I was yeah. just brand new and just seeing the people there, I would take days off from work just to go to the events. Yeah, you know, like yeah. like I was like I said, obsessed. Yeah, because relentless. I knew yeah. I had to make it. Like there was no option. I had yeah. to make it work. Yeah. You know? That's incredible. I mean, it is it is inspiring. You know, um, what what uh, what happened after that? Like, well, after that, funny, I attended one uh, event, and it was uh, by this time, you know, a, a little time has passed. And I was having my second son. So mm -hmm. I was already, you know, I was pretty pregnant at the time. And I had gone to one other real estate event and I sat down in the back and this girl sat next to me and we hit it off, you know, I'm talking to her and she said, well, we, uh, we my husband and I buy land and we, we sever it and we build semis on them. And I'm like, well, what's severance? And mm -hmm. she said, well, it's when you cut, up, cut the land in half and then you build two houses on it. I'm like, cool. So how do you know how do you know what lots you can do that? And she goes, Sony. And I'm like, what's Sony? And she's like, Oh, I gotta tell you all about this. And we hit it off. I got yeah, lucky because yeah, yeah. she she was really what started my whole um, my whole opening into the, the yeah. land development part of the world. And the thing is when when we talk about success, like ninety percent of it is showing up. Yes. 
and you showed up to a, a an event and whether or not you were intrigued or wanted to do that or whatever there was someone in that same event that sparked something in you yes where you took action on because it, it was like kind of in alignment with your goals and, and we talked a lot about uh, lifestyle. lifestyle yeah lifestyle yeah. it's kind of interesting very interesting <laughs> and you never know who you're gonna meet yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I'm thinking here like I'm absorbing everything that the presenters are, are bringing and I've learned a lot and I went to everything but it's also the connection yeah, yeah you know the yeah. people that you meet there everybody's doing this is why I love real estate. You can do it a thousand ways. Yes. There's so many different yeah. ways and everybody's doing it a little bit different, mm -hmm. a little blended, yeah. you know, and just listening to other stories inspires you mm -hmm. to really take action. Cause I was like, if she can do that, mm -hmm. I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. no reason why I can't. Yeah. yeah. And I just, I, I fell in love with it. Yeah. And now you're like the queen of all queens of land development. Yeah. <laughs> When is, I that, did, is that surreal to you when, when you hear that? It's so surreal to me. <laughs> I think it's so cool. I don't know where that 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 whole thing came yeah. about, but yeah. all of a sudden seeing the hashtags yeah. Queen of Land Development, <laughs> I think it's, it inspires me. Yeah, know, yeah. You know? Well, now you have to live up to it. I have to live up to it. You know, I have to wear my crown. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, you know, it, it's funny because like you, when you show up and you, and you do things, people recognize it. Yeah. And people are inspired by action. Mm -hmm. And they're inspired by action takers, right? You got to take the actions to get yeah. the results. Doesn't matter what the goals are. If you're not taking action on it consistently, yeah. you're, you're going to be dead in the water. You're not going to be able to progress. You're not going to be able to learn. You're not, not going to be able to grow. A lot of people th think, oh, once I get the money, then I'll start. Mm. Oh, believe me. It's so funny because two months after I met her, like I became obsessed and I was like, I, I love this strategy. I've never heard it anywhere else. Nobody else was teaching it. Mm -hmm. And she was kind enough to teach me. And again, the kindness of people, people want to help, you know? Yeah, yeah. And she gave me the foundation. She got me to, to understand what zoning, but I went out and I became obsessed about it. Within two months, we, I found a lot. I found it close to transit, double lot, and I'm like, that's it. And it had the right zoning, had the highest density in mm -hmm. zoning. Mm -hmm. And I told my husband, we gotta buy it. And he was like, why? And I'm like, just just trust me, like yeah, this yeah. is it. This is what, what I'm learning here. Just follow me and we're gonna make it. And we did. And at the time, we had just bought our last property. So we had, we had zero money, mm -hmm. but you know, I just I, I told my sister about it she kind of lent me the deposit like we were mm -hmm. we were taking money out of our credit card this <laughs> is like <laughs> you know 20 2015 and I don't know when you have this drive yeah that's it like nothing is and you're determined nothing. right determination is a uh, the common trait amongst all yes. successful people and so if you want to do this if you if this is what you want to do you have to be determined and determination comes from having a strong why going back to seeing your was it your first son this by this time was my second your son, second so but you're I looking at a stronger why you, you got looking at those cute little faces and you're like yeah. i gotta do it for them yes. right and that's that's exactly what I, when i looked at my kids i'm like whoa i gotta I gotta step up here. You gotta like do something <laughs> now. You gotta become more. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's amazing. We talked a lot about becoming this weekend and, and transforming yourself. Yeah. And uh, you're someone that has transformed. You're someone that is that is walking the walk. You're someone that is inspiring uh, people, Latino people, women, yes. and um, and all all kinds of people. You know. So, you know, I'm so so happy and proud and um, honored that we got to connect and we're working together and uh, that's why I wanted to share your story with our with our friends here thank you and I'm I'm so excited <laughs> thank you for connecting with me. yes yes and I love to be partnering with somebody like you who yes has just an amazing reputation yes. and yes. Latinos you know Latinos we to, Latinos we need to step it up guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah so let's let's talk about that for just a moment you know um, what for for a lot of Latinos immigrants or even that are still back home mm -hmm. para nuestra gente Okay, what is the one thing that you think that it holds a lot of people back? I think it's the fear. Mm -hmm. It's the feeling that 
I don't know where to start. Yeah. And that creates fear yeah. for a lot of people. There's a lot of Latino people that are successful, by the way, in their own right, right? Um, but you don't see too many in real estate. Yes. You know what I mean? Why is that? I don't know. We're, 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 we're going to change we're that. We're going to change that. <laughs> we're going to change that perception, that, yeah. that whole yeah. paradigm. Yeah. Well, one thing I, I will tell you, back home, there's, there's a lot of corruption in our, in our countries. Yeah. And um, I know that specifically for my family, you know, when someone had any wealth or real estate, they must have done something. Right, and sometimes they they come they come to like North America with that mindset, right? And so you got to shift. You got to shift the mindset. To shift. Creators, and uh, we won't stop there. No, this is the humanity. Right <laughs> humanity, like there, I I just I don't see any reason why someone we doesn't can't yeah. elevate. We need yeah. to level ourselves up. Yeah, and we're yeah. here to help you guys do it. And we're also in California. So, you know, you guys need to come and join us here. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful California. Yeah, thank you, Karina. Um, what, any, what, what's the last words that you're gonna leave our friends with? What's your philosophy on life? My big philosophy, and I told, talked a lot about this today, is figure out your lifestyle, your ideal lifestyle. You know, it's not about the money. We all want money. Yes, money will come, success will come, but figure out who do you want to be and imagine your lifestyle. How do you want that? Because if you can create a very clear goal, that's what's really going to take you to take action. Yes. Because until you get that, yeah. it's all just going to be a dream, just a thought. Yeah. So be clear on who you need to become and what lifestyle you want and then Take action. I love that. Thank you. Thank you, Alfonso. Alfonso loves you. And we'll see you at the top. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment down below. Subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified the next time we're doing a, a, a video. And guess what? Like, share, dislike. I don't care! <laughs> Let me see how that looks.